I, I'll, I'll take it. I'll Go take on. it. The Come first on. One. Uh, so everybody knows the you know, Sally <laughs> story didn't qualify and all this shit, right? Come on. And my hot take is that Device made a bigger mistake coming back to Australia <laughs> than leaving for me. <laughs> That's, that's actually pretty the, good. That's pretty good. That's I can't lie. One. I like that. That's good. Basically, he went to NIP. He tried to do his thing, right? Yeah. He ended up. The, we we all remember how that turned out. And then it was a big move back. And then he is like, he is one of the all time greats. Like we can agree to that, sure. one, right? He won four majors, multiple. You know, one of the one of the people who defined the opening role. Like you know, don't don't count you know simple because they are just one you know, one of a kind, right? But he defined the opening role. Many, at the, if not like 80% of the opers that are now on the spotlight watch Device's demos, right? And Device is still good. He's not like he's like an old dude, like 32 years old and trying to make it. Like he's what, 26, 27? And he decided to go back to Australis. I assume there was some sort of a plan that he was lured into. You know, to go back, are we gonna bring this guy? We're we gonna do this. We're we gonna do this, and then nothing happened. Obviously, they brought in Honden, and you know, all these like uh, all these like you know unknown players that are still keeping Zipniks, and it's just a it's just a mess right now. He's not gonna be a part of the last major after all this, and he's still yeah. good. Yeah, like, he's yeah. still good, and he I I, I can hundred percent I you know see that the, the bigger mistake was coming back to Australis than leaving Australis for NIP, and the second part of that take is that. If there is any like you know sense in face, they will go and cash out and just buy him and get him instead of Brokey because ah, he is I the see. players they need. He device can still deliver for two more years. Sure, let's say it like that, it, and that's gonna be worth the money. Right now they have yeah, the yeah. young core of Robs, uh, Robs and, and Twists, right? That that can you know, obviously Rain is uh, you know on, on sure. his way out too, but <clears throat> you know. They they can actually substitute Brocky for him for the next two years and still getting the 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 chance for titles and probably titles. But by so the way, far, I think yeah, device definitely biggest mistake. By the way, on the latter point there, that is actually something I did make the point of at the time. But obviously, I think people get by now that device moving to Nip and then back to Strauss doesn't seem to have anything to do with like whether he thinks the team is going to be the best. Like he's clearly making the decision based on other factors. That quite frankly, like. No, it's not that anyone really even fucks them. It's just that we all get that when you've won that much, you can sort of do what you want. You've written your own ticket at that point in time, haven't you? So what I would say is I actually also suggested the same thing when he went to NIP. I was like, mate, if you just go to an national team, like we're supposed to believe he was, like it wasn't just for the girlfriend thing, then the logic is like, why didn't he just join FaZe back then? Like to me, it was like, mate, imagine if he'd have been with Carrigan the whole time. And by the way, how spicy would that goat discussion have gotten if Device joined back with Carrigan and then won another major? That would be like, yeah. ooh, that would... That would get fucking spicy as a motherfucker. And then the other angle is, I just like the way, that is actually a banger hot take. I can't lie about it, but it's so out of left field because here's what's sad. I'm normally the guy who like, it doesn't matter even if like in the room, it's like, ah, oh, sorry, though. we're all feeling sorry for device right now. We're not supposed to say something like that. Normally I'm the guy who's like, yeah, but it is a good point, you know, like this is accurate. But even I hadn't thought of that angle because because obviously the whole thing is ever since he came back to Australia, she's supposed to think like, he's suffered enough. Let's just let's just all leave device alone. But Kassan's right, technically, if, you, if you're ranking his mistakes, Maui, look at how it's going now in Australia and how CS goal is going to end. He's right, that of all the mistakes he's made, is actually the worst one so far because quite frankly when you watch the RMR even like him and Blame Effort are just really good players man like there's not, they haven't done anything wrong as far as I can tell but they, ha they have absolutely been made a fool of and CS goals just going to end on such a shit note for them like it's whatever in it so right yeah. I agree I can't yeah I can't even really argue with this because it's just like like the current state of Astralis has been so poor that it, like not qualifying for this major we had the hot take a while ago i think Kassad might have had it that astralis wasn't going to qualify to the next i think that majors. was mine but there was, only, oh, that was, I yours. was obviously yours. i didn't okay. know there would be only one more major only one it's worked out for me on that one yeah yeah and i was ready to defend astralis then because i was kind of like you know with blame f and device i thought they'd put it together yeah. and i was actually i think mostly referring to the second major i was like i was like you right. know by by nine months after you said that i thought they would get yeah, it yeah. together but like what what they showed at this one is pretty depressing because I can't, it's hard for me to even defend Glaive as much now because the calling doesn't even seem as strong anymore and yeah. and I don't like the you calling. Pieces. You yeah, need like, pieces to call good. Yeah, right, that's go, true. Go. I mean, with with Buzz and Zipnix, with Buzz and Zipnix, it's hard to probably put together the structure you would want to if you're Glaive. But yeah, with with Device making this move for himself, it's just 
it feels like he had the pick of the litter. He could have gone to so many different teams, and that's the biggest problem with this, that if he did decide, you know, say, say some other fringe top 15 team, like any of them could have wanted wanted him, and anybody would have taken him. And so to go to Astralis when you already knew the state that they were in, like, yeah, that is that is a pretty bad move on his end. Also, by the way, I'll, I'll just throw this out there. Here's one thing I don't get about Glaive or fucking device in terms of like what we're hearing there might be the speculation as to why they made their decisions which as far as i can tell is where they want to live and what their family life is right here's one thing i find bizarre dude if i was one of these orgs especially like a big team that wants to get one of these players how about this just tell them if you join our new base is copenhagen we'll make our fucking boot camp from there you can live there if bloody hell if the other players want they can move there like why, why isn't that not just an offer at this point in time if you get like one of the biggest free agents ever because if that can't really be the fact Actors, surely like oh they could join nip or astralis or phase or mouse and it's like yeah but i only want to live in copenhagen like that can't be the fucking deciding factor on your cs career surely guys that just seems like nonsense like we can fix that everyone can get a plane ticket come on because what yeah, you're gonna say I mean, the, the thing is like if he went for astralis for i i am assuming it's not because of the denmark denmark and copenhagen thing like there you are so not. many teams just go yeah just go for like ants yeah like, that's a stable sure. org yeah. Healthy organization, right? You just knock on the door, message Nato, it's like, listen, I'm interested. What what can you offer me? If if not if that's not good, go to mouse. Right? What can you offer me? <clears throat> if that's not good, go to liquid. What can you offer yeah, me? Yeah, yeah, like, like a liquid. Go to phase, you know, just ask. And he decided to go for Australis, a failed project at the, you know, after they, they lost all these players. They yeah. are like I feel like they are they are being hostages by Zipnix at, at this point. Like, just, you know, pay the price and let him go. Yeah, seriously. Just pay the price, whatever it is. Because it costs you double that because you kept him. Now you're paying him this salary. You are not on the major. You don't have the sticker money. The sponsor will might leave you soon after you don't get so many results. And then what did you accomplish? You lost much more than you expected. Just pay the money, get rid of it, and get another player and, and maybe try, try again. See more cool, funny, interesting clips based on topics from my content? Well, subscribe to this channel then, or, you know, be a pleb and don't.